Hello friends, today I would like to talk about the importance of resilience in our life. So as per me, in life, resilience is the key to our success, key to our happiness. So let us talk about it. Life demands more, sometimes extremely more from some people. But one has to face every circumstances, there is no choice. It could be you, me or anybody. But life brings so many surprises at one time together. And maybe those surprises may be in front of, may be in form of difficulties and troubles. The spirit is into bounce back faith renewed zeal and fighting all odds. Take the example of sport or the business decisions. They all demand resilience. If you have it, you will be there to defeat every challenge you had. Recently, I saw a man's video on internet. He was not having legs or hands and still he was more confident than any other 40 plus individual in the world. He simply defeated his disabilities. He did not lose his will but grew up a confident man to inspire millions. I have not seen such a man with the brilliant resilience towards life life's unbelievable challenges. He was giving moral lectures in schools and colleges, swimming, enjoying water rides too. On the other side, we just fall cry for few difficulties and produce hundreds of excuses. If permitted if given freedom, life is a game and you got to win it, no matter who is at advantage. You or the world in front of you, just remember. Once Chanakya, the historic Rajguru and expert strategist of stately governance, Almost 4,800 years back, he was insulted by an erstwhile king, Dhananan. For his remarks towards kings, for his irresponsible rule and extravagant lifestyle at the expenses of the common people of the state. As an advisor, Chanakya gave him advice to stop indulging in leisure and lust since he was a king of the state and it was producing a very bad example for the subjects of the state but the result was all against Chanukya he was brutally insulted by the ruling king not demoralizing to that Chanukya woe he a sizable revenge and Look at what he created, a samrat out of a shepherd named Chandragupta. Just imagine what Chanakya taught as guru to a humble shepherd. So it is all about the resilience, the capacity to face the challenges in life. And what Chanakya did was the best example for any of us that how to face our adversaries and come out winner. So on his side, he has proved that as a teacher, he is never a beggar. But within him, a big possibility for the future taking shape. And he proved that in the form of the ruler of Maori Empire, the first ruler of Maori Empire, 
Chandragupta Maurya. He wisely converted a shepherd to world-renowned warrior and convinced him to fight against the Nanan to establish an exemplary just rule on the northeastern part of the Indian subcontinent. It is simply amazing intelligence of Chanakya as a teacher. Yes, he was not in position to take revenge against Tananan immediately since he was not a warrior but a teacher. And in front of him there was a ruler, ruling king of the state. But he took a long route and more dangerous to Tananan. Instead of spitting few insulting words in the return, he created an opponent to the rule of Tanan and thus created an empire out of the greatness of Chandragupta Maurya. The Maurya dynasty, which later on gave one more Samrat, Emperor Aso. This is it. You know, do not cry to your disabilities and challenges thrown in front of you by nature or the society and face it with resilience. Either you win or you lose, but one thing will be sure that you will able to see your face in the mirror with self-respect. You will not regret for that. Victory or defeat does not matter to those who simply act. Good luck.